Hello everyone, this is Miss Pebbles, 609 Tales from the Hood. Today I'm going to speak about a virtuous woman. So I know a lot of women are wondering like, um, why I can't keep a man? Why I can't find a husband? Why this man ain't choose me? And a lot of men don't even know how to choose what a wife should be, what a woman is. The Bible states, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. It's not he who finds a lady, he who finds a woman, he who finds a girl. is he who finds a wife. So I'm going to go into Proverbs chapter 31, verse 1, all the way to 31. This is going to explain what a wife is. Not what a woman is. Not what a girl, a lady is, what a wife is, what a wife should be, and how a man should choose a wife. He who finds a wife finds a good thing, not she who finds a husband finds a good thing. That's why I don't ever work. Stop going out here looking for men. That man has his rib taken out, a rib taken out of his body. And it's placed in his wife. That's how God made it from the beginning. So he's in search of his wife. His wife. So Proverbs chapter 1 verse 1 reads. The words of King Lemuel. The prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son. And what the son of my womb. And what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto women. Nor thy ways to that with destroyeth kings. Excuse me. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine. Nor for princes strong drink. Least they drink and forget the law. And pervert the judgment. Of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink. Unto him. That is ready to perish. And wine unto those. That be of heavy hearts. Let him drink. And forget. His poverty. And remember. His misery no more. Open thy mouth. For the dumb. In the cause of all. Such as are. Appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth. Judge righteously. And plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her. So that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a fill and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh him fine linen and selleth it, delivereth girdles unto the merchant, strengthen, excuse me, strength and honor. Or her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue 
is the tongue, excuse me, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. This is what a virtuous woman is. Who is like a virtuous woman? A virtuous woman should be a lady that you holding down the fork for your man, for your household. When your husband go out to work, he he's supposed to be looking sharp. He is the head, you are the neck. You get what I'm saying? The only time a woman should be taken over is when that man can't do it. I'm reminded of the olden days when they used to ride on a camel. And the man would hold the strap and he would pull his wife who would be sitting up on a camel. And um, maybe his kid would be uh, in the wife's arm. He would cross them across the desert from land to land to get wherever they was going. But just so, so happened that man should get sick along that way. That is when that woman should get down off that camel and help that man to get up on that camel so he can get rest until they get to that destination and she shall pull that strap. This is when a woman's strength should come in. When that man can't do it, you should be in secret. Back in the olden days, a woman couldn't even be in the presence of men in conversation. Now the women are taking over the conversations. You're not allowing these men to lead. You're babying them. We're mothers to them. We treat them like babies. They can't even be a man. You, la you learn, excuse me, you learn along the way. Let these men fall. Let them get up. Let them make their choices. You learn from life's lessons. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. You should not be encouraging your man to do wrong. That's not a wife. Why would you tell your man, let's go out here and, and, and let's sell drugs? Let's, let's commit a crime. We got to do this. Why are you arguing with him? Why he don't have no peace in his home? How it say somewhere in the Bible that a screaming woman... In a home, a peaceful man is on a rooftop? It was something like that. That's crazy. That you do not have peace in your own home. You had to find peace outside your home. Peace with another man. Peace with another woman. That's, that's absolutely crazy. Peace in a bottle. Peace with drugs. Peace should be in your home. After having a strenuous day. Outside the house, at work, you should be able to come home and have peace in your home. Who can find a virtuous woman? 